Hello guys, it's Malan from Malan Tattoo again and Germany and this time we have really cool episode. Uh, we're gonna talk about the different skin types. It's inspired by one of the one of the comments from from my subscribers. I think I think it's a great great idea, so let's get started. So, Creatix Creations from Georgia, USA, hello there, uh, she asked the question, I had a question about different skins and, and how they are different. I know that you want thicker lines on a skin that is darker, but that's about it. I'm just finishing my apprenticeship, but I would love a little more on information on it. Okay, so we're gonna hit the subject about a few points. From the few points of view, it's actually very important and often forgotten and not mentioned. Not not even on apprenticeship, but in, in general, it's pretty hard to find this information. Most of those information are based on experience. And I'm sharing, sharing with you my own experiences. I think I was lucky enough to tattoo plenty of different people of different skin types and with time I had to obtain this uh, this knowledge pretty pretty much myself and I think if I share it so part of this information is gonna be um, most of it is gonna be based on my experience and like my my approach to it but I think it's, it's it's gonna be valid for for most of you it's gonna help you help help you greatly so we're gonna break the subject into a few points I have a little little help here that I just wrote down before before the starting. Uh, the first is skin pigmentation, so how was the color of the skin, is it darker or lighter? The second point is gonna be ethnical differences, because we are not the same. It doesn't matter, the, the official propaganda, we are not the same. And it makes a huge difference. And um, number three is health of the person and individual properties, very important. It's gonna be big differences based on this. And we're gonna close the, the subject with, with talking a little bit how, how we should reconsider design and design work to make it the best for, the, uh, for, for a very, very precise skin type. So, here we start. First, natural skin pigmentation. So, as you put it, simpler dark skin versus the light skin. And this a lot of gonna depend on style, but in general, maybe I'll find some prop here so I can help explain. Okay, I have a prop with me. It's a bag, green bag, a little greenish, greenish tint regular bag. Um, skin is a container for us. It's not like for regular artists, regular artists, uh, traditional art, we paint on the surface. So the canvas in the, is the surface that we put uh, the strokes on it. But in tattooing, we put the strokes, our ink, inside it. We put it inside and it makes a huge difference. It affects everything. When you work, let's say, on a black canvas or white canvas, you can still build up to any tone depending of course on the medium that you're using, but let's assume you're using oils. We're using oils and we have black canvas, you're gonna put white until you're gonna have actually sparkling white. It's gonna take you a long time, but with layering color after color, you can achieve whatever color you want on any canvas, pretty much any canvas. Of course, it's gonna be easier and harder, but at the end you can come up with whatever you want. Now, skin is different, skin is a container. We put color inside. Let's make an experiment. This is a red ink. Intense, bright, intense. Nice, very bright. It has nice red color. And now I have a container. And I put the red ink inside. What kind of color it's now? I don't know how you can see it on the camera. Hopefully. How red it is now? Is it still that kind of bright red? Or maybe it has a different tint. Maybe saturation went down and the color is subdued. Yeah? 
looks different. So, a lot of the final effect is going to depend on this container. Yeah? Because at the end, everything is in the container. When you just finish the tattoo, it's going to look spectacular. But we have to consider what happens after six months, because it's usually how much you need, for the skin to grow over completely. When the skin will grow over completely, it's going to contain everything what's inside. And here comes the trick. And that affects... I'll throw this bag away. Here comes... Like, Everything this will aff this can affect your tattooing and your style. It should affect your style dramatically because we we supposed to we have to build the the design the the drawing that we do on the skin the, the final rendering towards the effect that is gonna happen after six months. So you have to put the colors and the contrast the values thinking what's gonna happen long term. And now you have different canvas every day. So the experience of the canvas, experience of this container on the skin of the skin is crucial. And it has to affect your decisions. <laughs> so let's start with the sim with the simplest simplest difference. White people and the black people. If someone comes with the white skin I have completely different options than working on a dark skin. If I have black dark skin, I can't do much except lines, dark lines, and uh, and pure pitch black. Because this is basically the only thing that's gonna stay stay through the through the aging process and will be visible a bit. How many different shades of dark you can do on dark? You know, it's not much of the difference. And often I, t I tattooed a few, few Afro people, I, I, t I tattooed black people, and they are nice people. And pretty often I had to say, sorry mate, I, I can't do it for you. If someone, if someone is black and he's coming and asking me for a portrait, it's not going to happen. Because this style just doesn't go with this canvas. And it has nothing to do with, the, with my opinion about the world, about that are we, we are all equal and we should, you know, really help each other and that kind of stuff. I'm all about this. But in the end, it's not the canvas that is allowing me for, for this effect. It's just a fact. We are not equal. It doesn't matter. The propaganda doesn't matter. We are different. The whole world is built with different people, with differences. And we have to kind of know how to arrange it, how to work with that, how to how to appreciate it even, yeah? So my style doesn't really go with this skin type. What you can do on the black people, that's why I have less experience with black people because realism doesn't really go on black skin, period. <laughs> Maybe you can lighten up the skin with white a bit. Maybe, but it's, it's not really much that you can do. It's not allowing me to have my effects that I am after. My pure realism, my hyper realistic designs, I can't do them on a black skin. So those are for tribal work, black that kind of skin is for tribal work, for the for the black inking, pure black inking, some kind of ornamental stuff, lettering, that kind of stuff will look the best because it's gonna stay and it's gonna be visible. Period. There's in my opinion there's no point of doing anything more on that kind of skin type. Now the white. The other, the other side of the, of that white, pure white skin. It's absolutely, absolutely the best, the best for color, for realization of the full color works, and uh, beautiful black and gray work. It's beautiful because you can have all the shades. You have white canvas, and you can put even the the most gentle shades of gray the medium ones, the medium values, and the pure jet black. And the difference, the contrast differences, is gonna be big. So one moment. It's actually my scale from pencil. So if you if you come, just to show it the, the easy way, if, if someone comes with, with this kind of skin tone, I can do everything from here to here. If someone comes with this skin tone, 
darker. I can do everything maybe from here to here. Yeah? Because you can always go a tiny bit lighter than the skin tone. If you put pure white in it, it's gonna be slightly li lighter than the skin tone. But you can't make a big change. Yeah? And then if someone comes with a really dark skin, you can only go a bit darker and that's it. So that's the, that's the main difference. And so we have white skin and a black skin. And anything in between, you have to kind of observe and see what's, what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. At certain point of the darkness, when I reach the certain point of the darkness, I won't do the color work. Sorry, I just won't do the color work because in my opinion that makes no sense. In my style, it doesn't make sense. The colors will be so subdued, will be so um, dominated with the skin tone, there's no point of doing this. I just prefer going with more black. So another change will be, the closer to the dark I'll go, yeah, my shading mixture is gonna change. I'm gonna use the darker tones. I go towards darker skin and I'm gonna use the darker tones. And eventually when I'm somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna use the, the shading only with the whip shading technique. So only, only moving my arm, my arm, only moving my hand, not using any kind of dilution because it just doesn't work, it just doesn't stay. So I work, I work with jet black and I can still do plenty of nice shadings and tones, but I don't dilute my ink anymore. So that will be my advice for, for, this, for this first approach. Another thing to consider, very important, and people often forget about this as well, even if they consider the skin tones, they consider that there is also the, I'm looking <laughs> on my, what I wrote down, you, co you have to consider natural color of the skin and actual color of the skin. Let's say you have white person and he went for a, he has purely white skin and he went for a for a six weeks trip to Bahamas for holiday and he's coming back fully tanned, brown, rich brown color, yeah? And he wants nice portrait, nicely tattooed portrait. Now how you how you tattoo him? How you approach this? You approach him with his natural skin color or you approach him with with a, with the temporal skin color. And it all depends. At this point, it's very important to communicate with customer. Because if you, if you start to treat him like a darkened, darkened skin tone that he is actually at the moment, you're gonna end up with tattoo that when it's healed, it's, the contrast is just too high. It's, it's, just, it's just overwhelming. It's not eye pleasant anymore. So you have to communicate him. Ask him how, how often, man, how often, Tom, let's say, Tom, how often are you gonna go to the Bahamas? You're gonna go next year or you're gonna spend most of the of the of your life there? If you're gonna if you're gonna spend most of the life on Bahamas, hey, forget about this, just put the high contrast. But if that was once in a lifetime, or maybe another another time he's gonna go, sorry, after two years or so, treat him as a lighter skin tone or schedule the appointment. When the, when the tongue is gonna go down and then you can see everything perfectly. So this is the, the most important thing, thing to, one of the most important things to consider, natural skin con pigmentation, how dark it is, and consider is it, is it original color or it's, so is it natural color or actual color, but it's happening only now because of special conditions. Now another another point on the skin uh, on the skin type on um, uh, differences in the canvas is gonna be the ethnical differences. And again, we like being said that everyone is the same. But in a matter of skin type, we are all different. We are all different people. We live in different conditions. We live in different environment, and our skin adapts greatly to the environment. Uh, if you talk to, to different tattoo artists and if you ask them about the, their favorite skin types, you will hear that they also believe that, um, that, that skin really matters. And if, ask, if, you, if you ask someone about the Asian skin, most of them, most of the um, Western, Western European or, or American artists, they say, oh, oh man, it's uh, one of my friends, he said, 
when we talked about this, he said, oh man, Mala, tattooing, tattooing Asian skin is so easy, but it feels like cheating. Okay, so it's, it's a nice skin, it's easy skin to tattoo, it's, it, it gets skin very nice, it gets ink very nicely. And on the other hand, if you talk to the people who regularly tattoo Scottish people and Irish people, they will tell you that this is terrible skin, that it's white, but it's very hard to work with. So, what's happening? What are those, what are those differences? <coughs> Our skin adapts to the environment that we're living at. Um, is our skin has to deal with plenty of sun or not? Your, so the skin may, be, may have different properties. The skin may be thicker, may, may be thinner. The skin may be, you know, better moisturized or weaker mo moisturized. The skin will, will behave differently. Is it that, for instance, the, the often skin that I encounter in, while living in, in Ireland was, was Irish skin. And they are lonely people, but plenty of them, they have this Irish red head full of freckles kind of type. And that, that skin is hard for tattooing. You just hit it slightly with a magnum and the half of the hand is red. It's, the skin is white, but quickly you can't see much because skin is getting so quickly red, but it's pretty hard to deal with that. You have to learn how to deal with that. The other thing, the Irish people, they, they live, most of them, they live, live close to the coast and the wind is so strong, it's always windy, the conditions, the weather conditions are hard. They ski, their skin is naturally harder. They are tough people. They can survive a lot, but they are tough. They're tough people. They they go swimming into this crazy sea like it was, you know, Mediterranean Sea. They are, wow, they are crazy. Strong people. Anyways, their skin is naturally adapted to that harsh conditions. So the skin is thicker. But in the same time, it's gentle. So how you approach it? You have to, you have to set up your machines so they, they hit a bit stronger, but they they hit slow, so you can still build different tones, but the first hit has to be really strong because otherwise you won't be able to go through that skin, you know? So, that's the thing gonna affect it. And yeah, I, I can tell a lot about the Irish skin because I, uh, I worked in, in this environment for a, for a long time, but I work with dif different people, with, with different people as well. European people, um, I would say my favorite will be Eastern European skin type because it's pretty, it's pretty light, not often, but it, in many times it's light and in, in color and well moist, kind of the thickness is in the middle and it's pretty, pretty good skin to work with. So it gives, it gives me nice, nice options for my style. Now on the Asian type of skin, I've noticed it's a perfect skin type for, for lining. It's just goes in perfectly. If you, if you, if your style is connected with lines, the skin, on this skin tone, you're probably gonna be able to do more. It just goes easily and for those guys having problem with blowouts on Asian skin is just easy. You, you will rarely have problems with that. So ethnical differences, they, the skin is gonna differ. It's gonna be different skin for different, different races, different people living in different locations because skin adapts to, to the environment. Now another point, it's health and personal differences, personal differences between the different people. Um, let's start with the most obvious one that you're gonna probably encounter. Fatter people versus thinner or skinny people. <coughs> if someone has a bigger weight, I'm growing my own by the way, but anyways, if, if someone has a, like a thicker constitution, their skin, 
tends to be very well stretched. It's like mass inside. It's stretching the skin to its extremities. And it can differ. It can differ. I feel it's sometimes for me, it's my, just my personal observation. It just feels like certain fatter people are like, like they genetically prepared for that and the others not. Those prepared, they skin to react fairly, fairly normal. In general, it's gonna be harder to work, but reacts fairly normal. And the other, the other part that of the people that when men, when not meant they, they build, it's not heavy enough for that. For that, the skin seems seems not to be prepared for that. And then the the skin is stretched to, to the absolute maximum. And what happens then? You have to you have to be really gentle because this skin, it's not that easy to work. The ink will go very quickly, and it's gonna be of course easier for you to to cause blowouts to have all the imperfections in your skin. Immediately, it's gonna be harder. <coughs> So look out for that and look also how healthy the, the skin is. Look, how, look for the blood pressure. If someone is heavier, they naturally tend to have higher blood pressure, pressure and it doesn't help either. They're going to be slightly redder. The, the, you, you will see the, that the skin that you're working on the skin, you'll see it much quicker. The skin will react much quicker to your to your tattooing. On the other hand, the thinner people, the skinny people, you may need to apply more pressure to stretch the skin because skin will have plenty of, of possibility to expand, which is sometimes good because you can put pretty tight design, just having a well stretched skin, you're able to put more details and then when skin coming back, you see that details holds and this kind of container it's bigger than it looks, so it allows you for for loads of work. Look out for the situation when someone when someone was heavy and then they lost a lot of weight and the skin is not it's not coming back. It's gonna be hard to work on this skin because this skin will probably have the properties of the people being on the fatter side. So you have to be gentle, but in the same time you have to stretch it pretty well because otherwise you just won't be able to work on that. So look at that. Also, I would say, <coughs> consider how the shape of the skin, because when someone is bulky, their skin is gonna have more of roundish shapes and consider how, how their body parts move so the design looks great on this. So the design looks great on those people. We always have to, I believe that, that you have to really plan the design with, with your customer in mind. It's not like you can do ultimate sleeve that's gonna suit everyone. Because just like we're talking in this episode, everyone's gonna have a different skin, skin type. So this particular design that you mastered and you made it to perfection may just not suit your customer today. So consider this. What other things I made the notes? Um, of course, dry skin versus moist skin. On the dry skin, it's gonna be naturally harder to work. <coughs> it's gonna be harder to clean it during the tattooing, and it's gonna be it's gonna go red quicker. The skin is harder to work. So I always advise my customers before they come for the tattooing session to use moisturizer for at least a week after each uh, body lotion, after each, each shower. It really helps a lot if the skin is in healthy condition. Also look for other, uh, for other signs like psoriasis and eczema. Those are mostly no-go and you really have to talk and be close to those customers what was the actual state of their problem and What's what's the what's their actual physician is it's saying about this? It, it may influence the spread of the problem of the healthy pro health problem of the skin or not. Is it stable or is it not stable? Or maybe they should reconsider tattooing. Keep that in mind. It's part of our job as well to take responsibility and look if you can do it or not. Oftentimes it's gonna be smarter to say no 
So you act on behalf of the customer even when he is not realizing that. So consider this as well. And very important thing, old versus young skill. Now, this is also forgotten because we tend to say that we are all the same. But again, we are not the same if someone is 20 years old and some of the other person is 70 years old. And I have great customers in both groups. I have fantastic customers doing amazing pieces when they are 70 years old and the same when they are 20. But for each group, for each of those customers, I have to keep in mind that their skin behaves differently. If someone is 70, <coughs> because let, let's, let's put it straight, being 20, it's a perfect situation for you, for a tattooer. Working on this skin is like a magic. The skin is well moist, it has nice structure, it reacts, it's, it has all the beautiful qualities that you want from your canvas. And it's super. But when someone is 70, you have to consider what, how it affects the design so it looks great and amazing on them. Look for the natural shape of the skin. When you're older, the, the, the skin is loose, the skin is going down, not only on the face. If someone wants to do inner bicep, look, because this, this part may be wobbly like this. So you shouldn't really put a portrait here or something that can be heavily destroyed. So look for the places that are fairly stable, that the skin doesn't go down. Those will be the best, the best, the places where the gravity doesn't doesn't pull the skin down. Look for those places they are gonna be the best for you to work on. Also, look for look for traditional discoloration of the skin, and look how it's gonna affect. Again, you gonna, you're not gonna do a portrait on an old hand. On the on here, or if you're gonna do it, go more traditional because all the different variation in the skin tone, the the change of tones is gonna be visible on the face and may destroy the design. <coughs> and very important quality of the of the older skin, it's usually thinner. It's usually a thinner skin, so you have to go gentle. You may need to slow down your machine. You may need to go not to go that deep, be gentle and look observe. You may need you may need few minutes to get used to it, to tweak your machines, to see where it goes. So attack it slowly. In general, my advice would be if you if you start if always observe for the first few minutes when you start working, observe what what kind of canvas you're dealing with today. Sorry for saying canvas, but I, I just treat it like, like an artist. Who has to work for the for the maximum effort? I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to offend anyone or anything. Just just a fact. So work closely closely with that. Look, observe. Was the condition of the person? Was the condition of the skin? Was the actual situation? Analyze it and then prepare according according to that. When you do two thousand tattoos, three thousand tattoos on different people, you're gonna know almost straight away. But you still kind of have to rethink your plan of attack, how you're gonna do it. <coughs> and the last point for today, for this subject, and probably the most important, but we mentioned this during the, during the, whole, the whole episode. So when you're making the design for the customer, for a specific customer, consider his skin. Consider what kind of person is getting the design because the design has to fit the skin type. So for instance, if someone is darker, consider what kind of shading you're gonna, you're gonna use. If your design is based on a light, very smooth transitions of the shade, maybe the dark skin is, on the dark skin, it doesn't work that well. Maybe think about, in a, think in a matter of bigger shapes, how they relate to each other and putting a contrast slightly higher. If you, if you're working on Asian skin, think maybe maybe it's nice to adapt and add a bit of line to your style because you can do plenty of stuff with line on this skin type. And if you're working on someone older and they require you from your color work, for instance, <coughs> consider 
is this skin ready for a full color? Because sometimes, sometimes it's possible, but the healing might be harder for a person. Or you may just simply need to simplify the color approach. So maybe it's not a full saturation of, of color like in often in neo-traditional or in uh, full color, color realism. Maybe you have to go not in a blended color, but more into kind of um, whip shading color. Maybe you have to approach it like this. So observe and plan what kind of design you're gonna make for this for this person and yeah that's it so and I, I encourage you to consider this because that's immediately gonna make your tattooing to the next level and you're gonna have very very positive uh, contact with your customers be honest with them I built I think I built my my whole tattooing career on being honest this is the thing I can I can clearly say I think my customers, my customer, those who like me, who like my work, I, I'm not for everyone, but those who like my work, they appreciate and they, I think, come for that reason. Because I don't have problem to say to the black person, sorry, I can't make a portrait on you because it's going to look crap. Or I don't have problem talking to the older people and asking them to reconsider the design into a bit different direction because their skin is different. So, yeah, think about this, consider this, it's helping a lot. I hope I answered the, the question uh, deep enough and I hope it helps with your apprenticeship and with your new career in tattooing. Uh, please comment below, plenty of you guys probably who watch it have loads of experience, so if you write down below some comments, what you think, what your experiences about the different skin types, I can learn as well, and other people can uh, can get some some valuable information from that. And it's important. It's all about this. So I wish you all the best. Share this video with your friends. Don't be selfish. That way you support me, and you also support what we what we're doing here. And we're supporting art as well. So all the best, and live long and prosper, guys. Till the next one.